it is quite easy to, to say how to get a standard errors for a particular statistic. And that we know is equal to the statistic itself minus its expectation value. Uh, we know that the expectation value is just the same thing as the mean. But for us to really have an understanding of how to get the standard error of this, according to, to a certain uh, technique, we need to take the square of it and then get the expectation value of of this squared. Now, if you remember, I, I I did this a long time ago. I did this a long time ago, and what I did in here is to to evaluate. Sorry, this is actually expectation value of the squared of the differences. So what we do to evaluate this is we 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 expand we expand this thing, and so we get uh, an x squared minus two x x times e expectation value of x plus expectation value of x squared and that's what we get isn't it all right now what what i want to prove to you is when you get the expectation value of this uh, expectation values are just averages so it can be distributed and hence what would happen is we will have an expectation value of x squared, of x squared, right? Minus the expectation value of 2x ex. Alright, plus an expectation value of the expectation value squared. So an expectation value of the expectation value and squaring that expectation value. All right, cool enough. Now, I don't know what the expectation value of x squared is. All I know it is the all I know is the expectation value is the averages of x squared. So, so this thing actually means the sum of all x squared all over n. Right, that's what an expectation value means because the average of the x squared and this thing is exactly the average of the x squared. Now, in this case, if, if I would distribute the e since it's a multiplication and getting the average of 2 is just 2, the constant just comes out. And, and also, this e of x is an average and getting the average of the average would result to the average. So, so both uh, 2 and the expectation value of x comes out because they're, they're both constants. But what is left now is getting the expectation value of x. All right, so that's that's kind of cool. So it's kind of nice. Plus, we're getting the expectation value of the expectation value squared. But both of these are constants, so it just it just comes out, right? So e of x times e of x are both constants, so they just come out. And what is left inside is the expectation value of one. But the expectation value of 1 is just 1. The average of 1 is 1, isn't it? All right, now uh, I can combine. I can combine these two equations. This results to the 2 times the expectation value squared plus expectation value squared. And what comes out of it is brilliantly what we know as the variance, right? So let's take a look at this. We have this, if I combine this, I get minus e expectation value squared minus the sum of x squared over n. Now what is expectation value of x? Well that is just the same thing as your mu. So that's squared, so that's mu squared. So finally we have a formula that is going to be equal to the sum of x squared all over n minus e squared and remember the sum of this these are xi's so x squared x squared xi squared from i 1 to n and isn't that isn't that the value of our variance so the standard error is our variance